Composite materials are all the rage today with Russia's fifth-generation T-50 fighters and Ka-52 and Ka-62 helicopters making extensive use of polymeric carbon plastics and other high-strength materials, rendering them virtually invisible to enemy radar. Sputnik looked at the way composites can help planes fly better and dodge enemy radar. The use of carbon plastic composites, which are lighter than duralumin, titanol and other alloys used in aviation construction, enabled Russian engineers to make the T-50 just as undetectable by radar as the US F-22 Raptor stealth fighter. With 70% of the T-50's airframe consisting of composite materials, its developers say that the effective area of the plane's reflecting surface is just 0.5 square meters. For comparison, in the heavy metal SU-30 MKI fighter this indicator is 40 times higher and is equal to 20 square meters. Figuratively speaking, the T-50 is seen on a radar screen as a tiny 50 centimeters by 100 centimeters spot. The T-50's designer, Alexander Davidenko, told Zvezda TV that due to the use of composites the aircraft has four times fewer parts compared to the Su-27 weighs less and is easier to mass produce. Composite and radio-absorbing materials will also find extensive use in Russia's new PAC-DA strategic bomber. Designed as a flying wing, just like the US B-2 Spirit strategic bomber, the PAC-DA will be much less visible to radar than its American counterpart. Meanwhile, the aircraft factory in Ulan Ude in eastern Russia has completed flight tests of the new regional TVS-2 DTS plane, almost entirely built from composite materials. The use of composite materials dramatically reduces a plane's visibility, as electromagnetic signals are not reflected from carbon fiber surfaces and passing through them or getting absorbed. As a result all a radar operator sees on his screen is blank space. The reduction in visibility is also ensured by the irregular geometrical shape of the plane surface, which is simpler to mold from carbon plastic than from metal.